What's going on everybody? My name is Josh Engelman and this is my first ever FIFA video. What I'm looking to do is a bit of a draft to glory. I'm gonna be playing a lot of draft, looking to make my rivals team a bit better, trying to do something decent in weekend league. The problem is I'm not very good at FIFA. Been playing for a while, I just never really got any better, which is fine, it's whatever. I've just been watching, like I watch a lot of Bateson, I watch a lot of Nepenthes, and I just kind of wanted to make my own content as well. So this is my first go at it. Here's the issue. I've recorded this entire first video and played the games and uh, I did not turn the game sounds down when I was recording. So it's loud and really uncomfortable. So this is me recording back over everything that I have already done. I do, for those of you who have never seen me do anything at all, welcome. You are finding this for the first time. For those of you that follow me anywhere in the DFS space, uh, I do content for Daily Fantasy Sports. Looking to expand my reach into some FIFA content. I play a lot of FIFA. I figured, why not churn out some content? So right now, I'm just taking a look through everything that is on the squad right now. It's very little. Just some packs from uh, some... What's the word that I'm looking for? Uh, milestones and all of the little things that could happen. I played three games before I did this video. All three were against the computer squad battle stuff so that I could just unlock some additional packs, some additional coins. Wanted to see if I could get to 15,000 coins uh, just generically. I didn't. So what I did was use the first draft. I used uh, 300 FIFA points to get in. But I just wanted to give you guys a look and see, like, there is no value here. So I want to use draft, build up everything that I can do, uh, you know, try to flip as much of what I get from draft on. I don't really like sitting on the market and, you know, buying 30 versions of one card just to get a thousand coins. each. I'm not going to be grinding coins like that. Uh, I want it to all largely happen through draft, through playing rivals eventually, once I get a team worth the shit. And, uh... You know, if anything comes up in terms of uh, any of the like additional, like I'll do some SBCs that are generic, like uh, the any anything from a weekly perspective. But for the most part, ninety percent of this is all going to be done through draft. I think what I'm explaining right now is the way that I'm going to pick my formation. So I'm going to try to do a video Monday through Friday, and I'm going to use the list. Uh, from top to bottom, one, two, three, four, five in the, oh, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that is what I'm doing. I can see it on my screen. You guys can't see it. Uh, so I'm going to use the top formation for Monday, the second one for Tuesday. Wednesday is the third, Thursday the fourth, and then Friday will be the fifth. No matter what that formation is, I am going to take it. So today I'm recording this on a Thursday. I'm hoping that I could get this posted on Thursday as well. Otherwise that's going to just be dumb. Um, I'm going to take the fourth formation that shows up as I enter draft. Now, if you guys can, it, it would mean a ton to me if you could hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to do FIFA content. Um, I'm going to be doing some of my own daily fantasy sports content for basketball and for baseball. Might do some just generic uh, NBA content as well. Uh, I'm pretty into the transactional side, but that's not what anybody is here for. We are here for FIFA. I'm pumped. I want to get better at the game. I'd consider myself like functionally okay. I don't, I'm really bad offensively, especially in the final third. I have no talent whatsoever uh, trying to do any skill moves. Defensively, I think I'm solid. I gamble a lot, usually works out. I hope that it works out more often than not, but that is sort of the way that I play. And it's fun. I love this game for the most part. Uh, I have the same qualms as everybody else, but I really just want to try to get better. So feel free to, you know, roast me in the comment section if you need to with some things that you think that I should absolutely be doing in order to improve myself. Now, the reason that I am recording over this and not just throwing it out is because the rewards are worth it. And I think it's going to be more fun to just simply re-record all of this audio so that you guys can see how we do on the reward. So fourth uh, formation down, four, three, two, one. That's what I'm going with. Wasn't my favorite start in the world. As you can see, this is the first draft that I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna pull myself off of the screen during the game so you can see both 
me live now and me previously recording this video, I want you to be able to see my actual reactions to um, how I play and then finally what happens, spoiler alert, when we open a pack. Hated this start. Didn't like the fact that there weren't any icons or even any special cards to begin with. Uh, to me, there wasn't much of a choice. It was potentially Aguero, but I would rather get to Scream Aguero if possible. So I went with Eden Hazard. Now, here's what I like to do. I like to pick both goalies. Then I like to pick the bottom row of defense. So my two, my left back, my right back, and my two center backs. Then I want to pick my first two uh, defensive substitutes. Then I'll pick my starting midfield. Then I'll go down to the sub section for the additional two midfielders. Then I'll take my attackers. Then I'll hit the subs for attackers. And then I'll hit my reserves. I feel like that allows me to plan a little bit better. So right now, it's down to Ter Stegen and Larice. I think it's a little bit easier to take Larice to start. Uh, center backs are going to link a little bit easier to French. And potentially, I'm going to be looking for Virgil van Dijk because I'm a big Liverpool fan. That will also help for the link for Larice. Ultimately, I was able to get uh, Ter Stegen as well anyway. And sure enough, right out of the gate... Virgil van Dijk popping up. I would have loved to get uh, the team of the year delict. That 96 is a pretty dope card. But I have a lot of trouble turning my back on Virgil van Dijk at any point in time. If it would have been the base card, I probably would have waited and took the delict. But at least it's the inform. So welcome to the team, Virgil van Dijk. Second center back coming now and... I think this one stinks. Yeah, uh, this one didn't matter whatsoever. Did not make the squad. Probably should have just cut some of this draft now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, the longest part of this is me just talking out loud about who I want to take. And now I'm realizing that talking over top of me taking guys that I don't care about is going to be awfully boring. But I'm hoping I can bring you along for the ride. There's Digne. Shout out to Nepenthes for that one. Did not take him, however. Like I mentioned, I'm a Liverpool fan. Uh, Robbo just got to be on the squad. In hindsight, this is the pick that I wish I would have made slightly different. Although there wasn't really an option. Um, I know it's not pronounced hate bore, but uh, whatever that pronunciation is. Might not have hurt to take him. Uh, ultimately, though, I ended up going with Kyle Walker. It got tricky until the end of draft. But uh, I was having some trouble linking him up. And I'm not happy with the way that it ended up, but I love that Kyle Walker card, especially with the Shadow Chem style. So now I'm hopping back down, grabbing my next two defenders. As you can see, this one did not matter whatsoever. So I've got three of my back four set in stone, second uh, center back or second defensive bench spot ended up being completely worthless. I don't even know why I'm taking as long as I am. I guess I'm really trying to pay close attention to if I need any additional chemistry. Um, still going on it. What, what was I waiting for? We'll have to learn how to trim that out in the near future. But for now, just going to have to go with it. Still waiting. Uh, still waiting. That would have been a real thrill. Second center back or potential defensive spot. This is the one where uh, I, I could have gone a different direction. And I didn't. I knew that I needed a center back. So I went with Sergio Ramos, which... I love the card. It's fantastic. And, you know, having Ramos and Virgil van Dijk is a lethal pairing. Really difficult for me to make this work. Spoiler alert again. Uh, he does not end up in my starting 11, but we'll get there. This one was tricky to me. Um, I didn't notice it at first. I assumed that I was going to take Luca or Pogba, Pogba to link to uh, Van Dyke and Rabo, and then I realized that Thielmans was there. And not only do I get the Premier Link, Premier League link, but I also get the Belgium link up to Eden Hazard. So perfect. That could not have worked out any better. The Thielmans card I have not really used all that much, and. I like it quite a bit. Five star weak foot. I mean, medium medium work rate's not my favorite, but getting the five star weak foot was about as good as I could ask for. So that linked up perfectly. Silver pick in here. So at least I didn't dilly dally too much. Ultimately, it did not matter. I like getting the silver out of the way early. It's kind of a letdown sometimes, but I'll take it. Uh, this was basically between Luca and Scare Cruz. 
Um, ultimately ended up going with Luca, just hoping that I can get to the original plan was to get to a different right back that would work for me with the links to Luca and Sergio Ramos, since they have uh, the the perfect link on Real Madrid. So now I hop back down to the midfield again. I would have loved to take that Lucas Mora card, but I just don't think that it was going to fit the way that I wanted it to. Pogba would have been okay. Uh, Witzel would have been okay, given the link to Eden Hazard. But uh, ultimately, uh, De Jong was the easiest card for me to take that sort of worked in multiple spots. So uh, at some point in time, I actually get to taking De Jong. Still looking at Pogba for reasons that I can't tell. It was never Ericsson for me. That much I knew. But I knew I had to get somebody to get that silver out of there. I wish it would have... In hindsight, I kind of wish I would have had Lucas Moura, but it didn't really matter all that much. Um, so now I'm taking my other midfield bench spot. So this was a throwaway. Uh, Decor doesn't make... I, I take him, but he does not see the pitch. Um, decent card. That uh, just wasn't going to be it for me today. Back up top to the strikers. This went well. Boom! 95 Garincha. The moments. Gotta love it. Great start there. And then finally at striker. Uh, this becomes a bench play. I really wasn't sure which direction I wanted to go here. Because I'd love to take Mane. Scare Bobby Firmino is a fun card for me to use, obviously. I wanted to get a third Liverpool player in my starting 11 but logic prevailed and Kylian Mbappe ends up making the squad he will ultimately find a spot on the bench which is probably good or bad I don't know but I couldn't justify taking Firmino or Mane in this spot over someone like Mbappe if I could have gotten another like if I would have got over Mars or something, or maybe maybe that's a bad example. But if I could have got another icon to slot in that left wing spot over Azard, um, having Mbappe there would have been key. And there's the replacement for Mbappe. I hit another prime moments Vieri, and that goes in immediately. With his medium medium work, like I knew that I was going to be bringing Mbappe on. This is going to help me dramatically from a chemistry perspective. Uh, first and foremost, I try to really focus on chem. I want to make sure that I get everybody as close as possible. So I don't try to put off cards too much. So I know that I can get Mbappe on the pitch at some point later. And this was interesting. I obviously wanted to take Messi because he's Messi, but he wasn't going to, like, I wasn't going to put him in over Petit just because, or over, uh, Garincha because of the chemistry. So uh, Petit ends up being the dude for me. It I became a no-brainer. I needed some sort of chemistry in the middle to make things fit a little bit better. I was hoping that I could wait and get a different Messi, a better Messi. And, uh, you know, we'll see where that ends up. But... Um, had to take Petit. I also thought about taking Carvajal there to try and fix my issues with the uh, Kyle Walker dilemma at right back. Would have gave me the the triple Real Madrid um, triangle on that right hand side. But when push came to the shove, I knew what I needed to do. I took Petit. Not all that interesting, but he does work as a uh, as a potential center back pairing. And kind of helps out the chemistry issues. Now this is going to be a time where I start bouncing guys around. And uh, just doing real dumb stuff. Trying to make chemistry work a little bit better. Should have cut this part of the video out. But what are you going to do? Feel free to skip 15 seconds. Don't really do that. I know you'll just leave. I know how this content stuff works. This might be my first FIFA video. But this is not at all the first piece of content I'm churning out anybody from the daily fantasy sports space would know. Uh, I've been doing videos every single day for like two and a half years. So next pickup, I would have loved to work Haji into the team 
it's a fun card to use, but Rui Costa uh, just made it a little bit easier. Three center mid spots uh, starts to free me up to be a little bit better. Uh, that Tealman's card, I, I would have needed a lot to bring him off given the way that he linked Premier League and Belgium. So Rui Costa comes in, uh, Luka Modric comes off. And this is where I start to realize that uh, Petit is likely to be my center back in this scenario. Um, it just worked out better that way. So we still have four picks to go. Um, it's relatively uneventful, at least until the final pick. Um, I'm really excited for you guys to see the games. I, I, I don't want to... Ah, I might have just gave it away. I... Uh, I don't want to hype myself up too much. I, I'm not very good. I've probably played 100, 150 drafts on my other account. I believe I won two of them. I lost in the final like 15 times. I lose early a lot. You guys will see. Eventually, you will start to see a little bit more of my gameplay and understand uh, what my issues are. But Feel free to let me know in the comment section if you spot things that I am doing incorrectly. Let me know. I, I want to get better at this game. It'll help me provide better content. So here, it was never really up for debate. Um, once I had Mbappe and Vieri in for striker options, it wasn't going to get me anywhere to go to uh, Robert Lewandowski or uh, Zlatan. I think it's Zlatan. Yeah, so ultimately, I go to Fabinho. I was hoping that that would be a little bit of additional help defensively. Um, potentially, you know, some links to either uh, Rabo or Van Dyke if I needed it. He also gets the uh, the Brazilian link to Garincha. So that's where I stood for that spot. And then I had two to go. Um Man, I really wish that I didn't butcher this audio the first time and I could have just given you guys all of the raw audio. But man, the game is super loud in the background. Uh, I would have loved to take Ederson. It really didn't matter. It wasn't going to change anything for me. The link to Ramos or something wouldn't have helped. If I would have had one of the uh, Brazilian center backs, I would have been good to go. But that is not Ramos. So ultimately, uh, I go with Bernardo Silva. He is not in any position to see the pitch, but 87 overall, um, got to take what you get. Hate that three-star weak foot, but you know you can get him coming in off that right-hand side. At least I think I take him. Yeah, I can't. I don't think I take anybody else. Yeah, I do take Silva. Final pick, however, this is the fun one. Does not work his way into my starting 11, which is probably an error on my part, but had to do it either way. Turns out putting it off was perfect. 95, Leo Messi. So it's exciting, but he's basically my first sub. Um, had to go for it. Uh, ultimately, 90 rated draft, 100 chem. I dick around uh, trying to move these dudes around, but... You know, nothing really frees itself up. I end up going with Petit as my second center back. Ramos on the bench uh, was really the only way that I could, at least the only way that I saw that I could get to the sort of chemistry that I would need. Uh, everybody was on decent chem except for Petit at six. Would have needed a French manager uh, to push him up to seven. Did not get that. I don't even remember who I take at manager. Um I'm okay with this team. Like, obviously, I would like to have Mbappe and Ramos and Messi out there. Uh, I just happen to have, like, slightly better options from a chemistry perspective. Like, I clearly could have... The right back really hurt. And not being not being able to fix that was mildly problematic. You know, I could have easily gone with uh, Frankie in at midfield, linking to Messi with i don't know ramos at right back or something it could have been there but it didn't really matter so for now you guys are going to see this happen live because i don't want to screw up anything else i'm going to pull myself away it's dueling joshes i don't know if that's going to be the best spot to go we'll figure it out in a second it's probably not if i had to guess 
and I jacked up uh, the webcam. See, this is it's a learning thing for me today, guys. It's a learning experience. So now, looking to play the first game. I've already cut the video, so this is just going to be the highlights. I'm going to be able to talk through it pretty quickly. Um, so that part is exciting. Uh, but what we're really holding on to right now are the rewards. The rewards are what we're here for. Um, I'm going to just move that bad boy over there. So right hand corner. No other way. Right hand corner. That's the way we're looking. That's just me talking in the old version, but you are unable to hear me for most of it because every menu sound is loud as hell. The commentary sounds like I turned it up past 100. Only thing that I'm saying that I'm doing here, I like to switch my left back and my right back to stay back while attacking. If I have them, they get forward, but otherwise uh, I need that front four, or I need that back four to stay back um, because I gamble so much that there's usually uh, quite the fast break going on. Uh, doesn't end up well for me. Hate my kits right now, but at least I get the Carlsberg old school Liverpool style. Got a couple of those kits hanging from uh, my closet. First game up, Sweaty FC, 91 rated team. Uh, very clearly a better starting squad than what I'm running out there. I'm immediately nervous. Um, you can see here, 91, 100 chem. Guy's name's Sweaty FC. I'll find the best place once I see uh, where everything is on the screen here. Okay, so I might be better right there. So, uh, right out of the gate, um, I think that I'm in a decent spot, and then all of a sudden, I am just not. Boom, boom, splits the D. I can't catch up. Un. One nil down immediately. Not fun. Not fun at all. So, next up. 28 minutes in. Corner. Caught clean. Was hoping that would go to Van Dyke. No dice. Quick roll out. I gamble. Miss. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Gamble. Believe I miss again. Yup. Bounces through. And... Frustrating. Dink, dunk. It's a good goal. It's a hell of a shot from the top. I need to get a little bit better defense out there. This guy pointing the wrong direction again. Whiffing. Bad. 2 0 down, 31st minute. We jump into the second half. Uh, he's on the break. Play it all the way back, which I certainly needed to do. And then we push. Back to the center. Very dropping deep. Oh, I brought Messi on for Fabinho. Needed a little bit more offense. This is perfect. He turns it over, gacks it away. Boop, 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 boop. And pow. We're back in it. Yeah, that's one. That's one. Uh, needed that finish desperately. Uh, this guy was obviously technically better than me in this game. Um, but plays the ball out. So at this point, I just brought Mbappe on. Uh, he falls there, but mildly recovers. They start to push. God, that Aguero card is so much fun to use. Turnover. Pink. Boop. And there's my boy. He's been on for like two minutes. That's two. I'm really excited that I was just able to do that twice at the exact same time. Look at that. So, erase the 2 nothing deficit, 63rd minute in. This is me bringing on Luka Modric uh, for Thielman's 81st minute. Keep a close eye. 81st minute. Modric is just coming on. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. Yeah, here we go. And Luka Modric is gone. <laughs> Eighty third minute. Straight red. Uh, I didn't mean to do it. Total mistake. But it would all be forgotten. Down a man. Quick turnover in the middle of the pitch. Popped one up and over. Stays on the ball. Bink. Boop. Sneaks it through. Jams it home. In the 90th minute. First minute of stoppage time, 
a man down, pow, erases the 2-0 deficit, three goals to the good, and we push that forward. Uh, he obviously is not very happy. I don't know how long I keep this going, but I turn him over, uh, get to a corner, and he rage quits. Well, not really rage quits, but quits nonetheless. So I am on to the second round. Thought I was getting dumped early. Uh, needed those 1,600 coins, though. Look, I played well. 13 shots. I had twice as many shots on target. So in the uh, 16 tackles, I'm happy with that. Ultimately, I brought myself back into this game for sure. I cannot be too mad about it at all. It looked like it was going to be bad from the 2-0 deficit. I think he probably let off the gas a little bit. I think Luca was a little unlucky to be sent off immediately with that straight red. But, you know, what are you going to do? I didn't, I didn't want it to happen. I, I thought that I had a decent look at the ball, but as it, as it turns out, I was, I was a little late. So next guy up, Cheese FC. Uh, also, very clearly a better team than mine. I don't even think it's up for debate. Uh, 91 overall, 100 chem. I um, want to make sure that I don't cover up the score. Uh, let me know if this looks familiar. So, sixth minute. Here's me thinking, okay, cool. We got a decent shot. Nope. No, we do not. Turnover. Back to the middle. Threaded ball. 98 Mbappe. Just buries it. Just buries it. And then dabs on me. Hate you. Hate you. I wanted to take a shot at him with Van Dyke. It just didn't work. So 1-0. 26 minute. We're back on the pitch. I think that I'm starting to make a drive on him. I'm picking up momentum. Cough it up again, and this, this just does not go well to me. Not at all. Rolls it back and just finishes it clean. Uh, it's just bad D. Bad D. Starts to dab again, but gets out of there, so I don't have to strangle somebody. Michael Owen, though. No doubt about it. So I'm down 2-0. 30th minute now. Let one rip from deep. Just clean catch. Nothing I could really do. Um, but I am able to turn him back over, which happens, I don't know, shortly at the very least. Giving it away too quickly. Big verge. Got to love it. Uh, ball gets through, takes it one time, buries it. We're back in it. 2-1. So Weenie Rodent is doing well. I can't remember if I mentioned that at the beginning of this video. I definitely said it in the other one. Uh, when I was creating the new account, I was just randomizing names. Uh, Mbappe on. I was randomizing the names. Weenie Rodent showed up. So now this account is just fully Weenie Rodent from tip to bottom. No matter what, I am the Weenie Rodent. That's all that matters. That's not a sound, but I want to get out either. So now down to one, heading into the 60th minute. Petit did okay as my center back. I, I definitely think I would have been better off with Ramos, that's for sure, and not having Fabinho out there to start. So Messi's back on. Uh, Mbappe's on. Mbappe with the ball here. And then just amazing finish from Thielmans. Uh, takes that one step into the right, just rifles it into the top corner. And now we're back again. 2 2, 61st minute. Now we're in the 85th minute, and here we go. And uh, I'm already going to sound like I'm letting the air out of my balloon. Uh, I really thought that I was going to pop another 3 2 here, especially right there, but I just I coughed it up and. Uh, he just outplays me on this little stretch. That's an incredible ball over the top. Great control. Takes it on the half volley. Buries it. I can only clap it up. Uh, it's just, I can't be mad about that. That's a hell of a goal. So ultimately, I get squashed out in the second round. Lose 3-2. Here are the rewards. And I really, really do want you to see my face. I'm going to move myself back over here. I should really lock those things. No, nope, that's not going to do it either. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. You guys got to see this though. It's it's too good. It's way too good. Here it comes. Keep that face. Watch that face. There it is. There, the moment I realized, I was dumb and I didn't realize it immediately. What a pull. First gold pack of the first video that I do of draft and I pull Sun, and he is going to be able to fund my drafts for a while now. First thing I do is check out uh, 
Am I all jacked up here? Probably, doesn't matter. First thing I do, check the price. You know, 143 is the current bid. I am loving life. That is the happiest man in the world on the right-hand side. What a way to start draft. The rest of it just goes in as nothing special. But it's hard to beat that, man. It really is. What a pull. Nothing comes out of the last pack. And that is where we stand for the first draft here. I'm going to put that Sun card on the market. He will fund the rest of it. I don't want to use FIFA points if I, if I don't have to. I would love to use that Sun card but I don't think that's really going to be worth it. I'm just going to cover myself back up again. So that is it. That is the first FIFA video that I've ever done. I want to thank you guys for joining me here. Please, please, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when I go live. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos here now, uh, cranking out a lot of FIFA content. We're going to be doing some Twitch streams in the future. I really am interested in this. So I hope you liked what I had to say for this one. Uh, normally, I'm just going to talk through this video and I'm not going to have to narrate over it again. It'll be a little smoother, but rookie mistakes. It's been a while since I've had to stream anything other than daily fantasy sports content. This is the end of the video. I, I hope you watched all 30 minutes or so. I greatly appreciate you joining me on this little FIFA journey. I really want to get a decent weekend league team and find out if, if, if I'm any good or not. And there you can see I was just uh, playing this video over top of the screen. But thank you guys for joining me. And uh, I will be back tomorrow with a new video. Bye-bye.